continuing on, this is part three, syllabus review for 102 CAD drafting fundamentals. Looking at the course outline, here's the sequence. Of course, laboratory rules, operations of equipment and safety procedures. We we'll go over the basic tools that we'll be using, safety and emergency, set up procedures for drafting, course management, lab hours required. All that's kind of contained uh, some of that in our syllabus and then uh, within the first week we'll be going over those things in class. Then drawing and beginning drafting, scales, lettering, freehand, sketching, one view drawings, alphabet of lines, reproducing drawings. Again, this is a, a basic sequence. We'll probably cover these items in a little bit different order, but this is the standard outline required by uh, KCTCS, our curriculum committee. Your geometric constructions, orthographic projections in, in great detail, and then dimensioning is what we will finish with. The actual flow of the course will follow the, the workbook that you have very closely. There will be inserted in here geometric construction sheets for you to do and there's five of those so after we get done with freehand sketching practice then we're going to cover geometric constructions that'll be handouts from me. The rest of it uh, is in your textbook. Course rules, all your tests and writing assignments are expected to be completed using OCTC's expectation for expression of ideas level one which is basically listing and sentence fragments are allowed. You can see this in our website and the college website. All the drawings will be submitted in a high-res JPEG format for assessment, but not too high-res. Try to keep it, uh, if possible, to a lower uh, file size. So whether you're taking the course online or hybrid, remember the contact hours you spend online needs to at least match the contact hours for the class meeting. So we've covered that more than once now so you know how many hours you need to put in. So the lab hours that you log is your participation, your quizzes 20 percent, your drawing problems 50 percent, the final test 20 percent. Your assessments, your participation, quizzes and drawing problems and in midterm and final scores that will gauge your knowledge and skill level and determine the final percentage. So everything will be graded on a percentage basis. I'll be back with part four.